Good morning. It's the last day of January, and I've been a while since I uh, worked here. And the reason is, uh, I had to face, I had to face some facts. I really can't do this kind of stitchery in this particular type of medium. I thought that I could, but my um, my fingertips, which are, as you know uh, from the chemo, are uh, kind of numb, and uh, that really fine, fine needle that I was working on with was um, was causing that very tip of my finger to um, to be unhappy, and that made me unhappy because uh, disappointment is huge. But I knew that when I did this and gave it a try, that that might be the um, the end result. And as I said um, in a pre my previous video, um, I'm not a person who uh, particularly enjoys or thinks it's wise to set yourself up to fail. I don't think experimenting, though, and giving a, um, a, the old college try to see if it's, uh, things are better or changing, and um, uh, under these circumstances, uh, even though this is soft, we talked about that. It's the uh, I don't I think it's the needles to be honest. Um, so I also had out some green thread that I picked to use on uh, to attach to uh, use a back stitch and attach these uh, these leaves, which were all um, self chopped from this piece of um, organza. Uh, and I have to be honest, uh, the, it, did, it wasn't suitable. It wasn't, it, it wasn't acceptable. Not that I should say it was because of me and what I'm used to. It just wasn't, uh, it wasn't what I would share with you. So, what I've decided to do is uh, gift this as it stands to um, someone who gets in touch with me on my um, uh, email, and my email address is down at the bottom of the um, the video, uh, along with my in Instagram and, and those things. Um, it will be first come. First person I hear from will be the uh, the recipient. Um, all I need is to know that you uh, want it and you want to con give it as a gift yourself or work on it and add to it and or make changes. What I have done to make it easier to uh, mail and for you to have this the way I have worked it. I have worked it, as you can see, like, um, like collage. Um, let me get down close to this. Uh, someday I'll learn. Okay. Uh, this part was part of the pattern that's attached. This I cut out uh, a la collage and added underneath here. Um, this one was is added so that um, I could make uh, I could make a collage story. Uh, with the flowers. Now, what I've done to, uh, I can't certainly didn't want to s send this to any, to you, to whomever wants it, it in, uh, with need uh, pins in it, that's it, not going to be happy in the mail. So, I've taken the time to use black thread and run black thread through the uh, spot so that when you have it, um, so that when you receive it, it will come to you uh, the way you see it, and then you can work on it, make changes, take it all off, uh, use something else on this background, whatever. Uh, and I, uh, I'm sure some, someone might uh, might like to uh, give this a try, and uh, and work with it. Um, what I'm going to do is send it to you the way it would be as the cover. Uh, the way I see it 
as the cover uh, of a journal or it could be this way it could be this way whatever but it's going to be hunt and peck because um, each one of these uh, bastings to hold these pieces down uh, have a beginning and an end but you don't have to worry about that when you get one end and give it a tug it's just going to slide right out so that's my uh, that's my disappointment but I hope that it makes uh, one of you I like it this way so I'm going to leave it this way um, I don't know why uh, I hope that this makes one of you happy and that you have fun uh, playing with it and uh, I see it with some lace added to, well, it's not mine anymore. But, now, as you, uh, I'll repeat, my uh, email address is in that information at the bottom of the, uh, of the video. Okay, I'm going to set this aside. As you can see, I really thought it was going to, I chose fine pieces of fabric, but then when the stitching came, I wasn't happy. I wasn't a happy girl, and happy is what we're supposed to be with this. So, that came in uh, something from Rox, uh, Rachel uh, at Roxy Creations. Um, that's uh, stamped on a beautiful piece of linen. I'm going to tuck that up there and, so it doesn't, get, uh, it doesn't get lost. Let me stand up now and uh, put this aside. grandmother's expression out of everything bad comes something good and uh, oops uh -oh. out of everything bad comes something good so I think uh, I think that's where I am what I've decided to do is have fun on some needlepoint canvas pieces I have, I have lots and lots. I think this was going to be a uh, a group. I was I had this in my Etsy shop, and at that point it was before slow stitching, and people were not interested. There is no reason on earth why one cannot slow stitch on needlepoint canvas, but if you don't have it and you uh, want to see what happens first before you would get involved, um, most of the um, stores like uh, uh, Hobby Lobby and Michaels and um, uh, fabric stores, craft stores, have a section um, for cross-stitch. Uh, and they have the cross-stitch fabric in pack comes in packages and the cross stitch fabric is uh, woven perfectly uh, it's not can it's not canvas like needlepoint canvas but it does have uh, the same concept let me get this as close as we can no we're gonna figure this out yet Carol keep going girl as you see this is the needlepoint canvas and this leaves you open to having an easier time, at least it will be for me, with these, with these larger, with these larger needlepoint needles that go beautifully through the hole, and they have, they're not, uh, they're not so pointy, of course, um, but some are even more blunt. But look at that nice big eye! Oh my! Won't be needing won't be needing this puppy but we'll be using this one because right through right through this hole in the needle and there it is so I might still need to do a little pulling 
I don't know, so I keep my good friend handy. Now, I have uh, any of you that might eventually become interested can uh, also email me uh, because, let me show you, there's some red I've been hoarding. This is my hoardy red. Oopsie daisy. Sorry about that. Now I need to go way out. There we go. Uh, let me get this out of the way for a while. Good. These are my uh, little cutting scissors for the projects that I might be starting. I have a project in mind. And actually, I can't wait. I haven't done anything like it in years, but I'm going to share how to with you. And well, first things first, here's some pink, some tan, some aqua, some red. Uh, there's that. And then there's this. This all, this all comes from uh, my leftovers from my years of uh, stitching. And I wanted to show you, I wanted to show you two things. Okay. And as I said, there's no way between now and because uh, I'm an old girl, there's no way I'm going to outlive all of these things. So maybe some, maybe one of you will become interested in, in uh, what I'm thinking about. Okay, up and away, up and away. Now, this, oops, I wanted to show you something else that I thought I might do uh, probably the same day that cows fly. Let's get back to um, close up, close, close, close. How are we going to do with, oh yes, I do love this camera. It does work. This is uh, cross stitch fabric. And as you can see, it's uh, more available, much, 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 much less expensive. Uh, a yard of full width of, um, of needlepoint canvas is, uh, well, I, I think it's over $100. So I always bought, uh, I went in the leftover bin, and uh, sometimes I invested a little bit of money. Maybe I asked for um, uh, 9 inches worth or 12 inches worth. But this is what you will probably find because this is for uh, this can be used for uh, cross stitch and it's uh, it's ever so soft it works uh, the threads do pull and hypothetically these threads can be pulled but you have gotta go some to uh, to take out you can take out this last uh, you can pick let me get this out you can pick this last, let's see if you can see it. Oh, goodness, yes, can't you just see it? This last row right here. I'll show you. Oh, this one's already starting to uh, give, so I'll give that one a push. As you can see, it will come out. And I often uh, use do this deliberately um, when I use this uh, for um, journal cover, um, project for a journal cover, uh, I would pull one or two so that this was the finished outlook and it looked very pretty. So, as you can see, it's woven carefully and it ought to be for that price, don't you agree? So, I'm going to pick a piece and start a project and let me tell you what I have in mind. Oh, I also found this. I, I went to my um, chest in the living room where I kept used to keep my um, Etsy things for the shop. And uh, 
this is a gorgeous piece of coffee or tea dyed linen that I uh, I tied down the uh, the edges and so I have all of this and as you can see it's just lovely uh, but let me go back out again this time I get it no of course I'm not going to get it it's against my nature so as you can see this kind of uh, fabric you can use you can use this where is it you can where are you little baby you can use this to stitch so if you want to count down you just count down one here's and you count uh, in, in needlepoint uh, or stitchery on needlepoint basically we're slow stitching on needlepoint um, this just you count not holes you count threads so if we start here We count down threads underneath. One, two, three, four. And you would come up or go in in the fourth one underneath. It's not easy to do, but it's very, very doable for something that you might wish to um, uh, to use to do uh, stitchery on. I don't know where I got that, but I saw it and I got weak in the knees because it's so attractive, so beautiful, and such fine, fine quality. It feels like silk. Okay, so, what else did I find in that drawer? Oh, I might as well do a share with you. I found this. Yes. Look at the potential in that. Yes, and I'll never use all of that either, so... Uh, all I can say is email me, uh, particularly for this one, these pink and mauve or lilac uh, flowers are gorgeous. I have no idea. I think I found this in a, uh, an antique mall. So that was in the drawer. And then I found my trove. I was not able to find it. And it went out of mind. Oh, I did it right. It went out of mind when um, I was working on uh, holidays. But look what I found. Look what I found. All together on a nice ring. Everything that I might want to use to stitch for Halloween. And I used to do a lot of Halloween stitching. I loved it. It put, it made me happy. And I put the, um, I framed them on little dollar store black frames, and uh, or orange frames because they did have them in the uh, Dollar Tree. And uh, uh, put them around the family room. And it was just something I enjoyed doing. And um, we will probably start. Uh, a Halloween project, something, something, uh, that shiny, uh, that shiny coppery one in there. Mm -mm. Okay, and underneath it was my hoardy piece of real red, Christmas red uh, can uh, canvas. And I'll put this over here. You see, this is just mm. okay. Oh, here's a stitch guide. Uh, Christmas tree pattern. Hmm. This is so easy to do. You cannot believe how easy it is. Stay tuned. I'll be sharing how-tos, and look at all of those goodies. Look at that uh, very fine wool. 
and shiny. Oh, Lord, I hate working with this beautiful shiny stuff, but it's gorgeous. Um, I even had these. Oh, my goodness. Well, the last few years have not been the real Carol, but I feel her starting to pop to the surface when I'm handling this. So, And this is uh, uh, very velvet. And it is as fine a velvet. Oh, it just feels wonderful and stitches beautifully. Of course, you have to stitch that on, some, on a, a larger canvas with a larger holes. So, what's this? All of this stuff hiding in here. Oh, I remember. I made a Christmas ornament. Uh -huh. And thank goodness I kept that. And some real red silk ribbon. I'm going to stop now because this is not the point of uh, what I thought you would see. You would see this and realize the fun to be had. Well, because of my fingertip situation, I am going to be doing, goodness, where am I going to put that? They're right there. Probably going to fall. That's okay. Uh, oh, and this is what I wanted to show you. That, uh, if, you're, if you're mental enough, that is needlepoint canvas. Here we go. I hope I'm not making you nauseous. Look at that. That's for a background. Just need a very fine, you need, basically, you need a beading needle for this. But can be done. Simple as breaking sticks. And uh, if you want some, let me know. Now, because I have to share uh, before this stuff uh, goes in the state sale sometime after I'm gone. Now, Let me show you the potential for this. But I also want to show you that this is not necessary. This is, I'm using, going to be using this for me because of my situation. And I still have these things. Let me have a sip. I'm drying my mouth out talking to you. That's better. This is not necessary, but it's probably, and it's, oh, it must be 30 more years old. Uh, okay, righty tightsy, lefty loosey. Let's show you what, what this does. I'm sure you can see already what it does. I am going to be putting my piece of um, of canvas. Let's say I'm, you know, I picked one of these. Oopsie daisy, look what I forgot. It's on the other side. I have this whole run. Where is it going to end? Of this canvas. Uh, I got this standing in the corner of an estate sale. Uh, and this is beautiful uh, Zweigert, beautiful quality needlepoint canvas. I almost fell on my, I almost passed out. My husband thought I was ill. Uh, beautiful canvas. Uh, and the color, as you can see, is between, it's beige, it's, it's not ecru. And you know, I think I see the tiniest, tiniest, bit, bit of pink in there. Let's look, let's look more closely, see if we can see. This is fine, so you would need a, um, a fine needle. I'll be working on, you can see the difference in size. I'll be working on the, um, the uh, 18 count canvas. But, 
there again. This is uh, this is ready to uh, bits of this are ready to be cut off and uh, and mailed if you would uh, if you would uh, like some. And uh, all of these things uh, are gifts. So if I put this in here and tighten up. Come on. Of course, you're going the wrong way, Carol. And then this can be tilt. This tilts however I want to work on it. But I then can work the way uh, I've always worked for years and years and years. And you've seen my need some of my needlepoint pieces. Um, on a frame. Because when you put this on a frame, it stays perfect. It doesn't warp. It doesn't, when you stitch on it, it doesn't warp, it doesn't move, it, it comes off looking uh, exactly like this, except it's stitched. And so, I'm going to be working this way. There is no reason why this can't be worked bottom up, pull, uh, down, pull. There is many, many, many people for many years uh, needle pointed uh, and did stitchery that way. Okay, so this contraption, uh, they oh, well, I'm sure now they have more uh, light, more lightweight ones. This thing weighs more than I do, um, but I've used it and I've loved it, uh, and it has been a, a help for me. I used to go to um, um, seminars and take classes, uh, weekend classes up in. Um, uh, Kiowa Island, and um, this I dragged it with me because uh, it, it made things so much easier. And now with the, uh, the little th fingertip issue here, it will make, uh, I will be able to see and push and, 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 well, you'll see. But let me tell you what's in my head. There's actually something in there. Mm. Let me get one of these down. A little black canvas left for Halloween, would you believe? Oh, wow. Okay, so let's say I plan to make a piece that would go on the cover of a journal. So you cut between the threads, and the cut is always perfect. So if I put it on here, it's this size, but I would just then draw uh, with a pencil, very lightly, because it'll take, uh, four, let's say, four and a half by uh, five and a half or six inches um, as a motif for uh, the plate on the front of a journal. But any of you who have uh, happened to have noticed and prowled around and looked at painted uh, needlepoint canvases, they have become so crazy in price that, well, they, I shouldn't say it just this, it's anything. Um, the fine knitting and crochet yarns now um, are, it's going to have to, you know, six strain, six skeins of, of the, uh, I, I'll call it yarn, six skeins of the yarn could cost $90. And it's not such special stuff. It's pretty and it's nice and it's good quality. However, it's gold. So, what I'm going to think I'm going to try, and I'm going to be trying this with you because I have it in my mind, but we're going to find out if my mind comes through on this. Uh, I want to do, to give myself something to stitch. I want to do mixed media for the background. I'm going to try, and I know it can be done if, if we experiment on these little, little bits. I know that I can paint this with acrylic. I think you have to, the trick is to water it down. Watercolor would, um, 
might affect the integrity of the canvas. So I'm thinking paint the background, and then I'm thinking mm, stamp. You know there's always, there's always stays on. Thank God. And stencil. Stencil. Using the design of the stencil and putting bits of it on with a pencil that way so that you can see it. Maybe after painting the background, put a bit of, let me show you what's in my mind. it now and something like this a small section of something like this the pencil would fit delightfully in those areas and I mean I don't want to do anything that would be overwhelmingly tedious to to do but since I love this puppy so much mm-hmm just a maybe one or two of these, or a couple of these. Do you see where I'm coming from? And then, after all of the mixed media has been applied, then we'll go for the uh, the thread and uh, we'll stitch it. But I'm sitting here looking. I'm sitting here looking at this. And I'm thinking to myself, If you used some hairspray on this, you could, I think, well, we'll find out, won't we? Uh, I think it might uh, make it less tender because this is uh, new. It's just so old that it, uh, it's cracks. But that makes it more gorgeous. And then, of course, there's stuff here. Oh, my, my, my. Then there's this lovely stuff that is not so tender. Now, wouldn't a piece of that be just wonderful somewhere? And you would baste it down. And it would be a little tedious. I wouldn't try to do the whole thing. It would put you in the uh, in in the locked ward. Um, isn't this gorgeous? Anyhow, uh, you might just want this bit or this bit with the numbers. And yes, it would be a bit tedious. You, but once it's stitched down, you would have to uh, poke about uh, and to, to get your stitches. And paper can be sewn. We know that. Why? Couldn't we do a little touch here? We'll find out. Stay tuned. This is going to be learning by doing and sharing. I am so willing to share and let you see some new and interesting stitches. And I'm thinking, unless you have a better idea to share with me, as uh, if I this bit on I would have to I would want to do something to make it less uh, make it less fragile I'm thinking hairspray you might know something better and I would love to hear it so this is the road that I'm going down and as you know this is what is in my head the stitchery part is not a problem especially since I have my uh, buddy out uh, the stitchery part is not the problem it's uh, 
whether all of these things that I have in my head can be done or that we would even want to do it. We might get so far and say, oh, goodness, this is not, oh, no, 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 no. And we'll do another one. Uh, why not? Something special. At least it would be special for me if it works the way I think it is uh, because of the uh, finger problem. And if it doesn't, well, I tried. Uh, I tried. And that's how I look at life. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. You know, I'm looking at this. And it's not the most expensive uh, piece of needle work, the canvas. This one is perfect, as you can see. This one's got what we used to call uh, slubs. Slubs, and it might be fun to use this as our experimental plate. I think I have something back here that will show you what I'm thinking about. Yes, this is it. Here we are. I found this in one of the drawers uh, of the of the dresser. That was for sale in my needlepoint shop towards the end. Sipping more water. Would you do you see the needlepoint canvas as the background? And a little bit of it got uh, some uh, distress ink or oxide on it. Fine. Made the edge look interesting. Would you like to see in here? Because I have no idea. I haven't the slightest idea. So let's explore. This. Yes. I stamped on this canvas. Why wouldn't it work on here? It's canvas. Stamped here and here, and then it glued on this. Now I remember gluing it, and I remember covering this. And this was one of my hand uh, uh, watercolor posies. Some more, and this is a, uh, a doily turned into a. Oh my goodness! And I even did. Carol actually did sequins. Wow. Mm-hmm. Oh, but sequins for Halloween. Mm-hmm. Alrighty now. Let's see what we have. I have no idea. Oh, look what it is. I like doing these. I like doing these. Let's move this out of the way. Because this is liable to be our ex super experimental piece. Like a chunk of that. It's the super experimental piece. Alrighty. Um, oh no. You okay? Oh, book. Love books. Lace, lace, lace. And what's in here? Oh, this is tied with silk ribbon and look. This does this. Oh my. When you look back at the things that you've done. Oh, and I actually I sewed that down. Ha! Huh. And this was to close it. Makes sense to me. Okay. I haven't, this, I haven't the memory. It was made, though, probably. Five, six, seven, five or six years ago. And here. And uh, this was from a uh, that was from oh, I remember. This this was when I was a member of a uh, design team when I was invited to do that. I only did one because uh, uh, I found that it, uh, it, it pressed me 
and I with other things that I wanted to work on. Uh, so this is my uh, my design team. Um, I would have to look and see what design team it was, but I wonder what's under here. Oh, I can't do that. You don't need to see all that stuff. This, I guess you do, because this is what's in my head. Yes, this was a design team piece. This. Okay. Something like this for a background on here and then stitch on top. Please remember to remind me where that is because it might uh, it ha might help me over a hurdle. And let's go through this quickly. Time's I'm wasting, and I know you don't didn't plan on this. Uh, some lace edging. There's a lot of lace here. Oh my goodness, I got a whole th th scarf of this uh, in this color, uh, hanging up on the wall in an antique mall. Uh, I think the whole thing was $10. Uh, I, I, I just can't tell you. Oh, yes, I remember cutting that. I do remember cutting that. This is uh, from... Uh, painting that I did years and years ago when I was doing mixed media. This is a, uh, I ran it through the printer. Isn't this beautiful? I purchased this. Carol doesn't do this kind of thing. I just don't enjoy it. Oh my. Oh my. Oh, I bet this is, um, Eco dyed. That's why I like it. This is Carol stenciled. Another one. Another one. Yes, this is from an early, uh, when I was just learning to uh, uh, doodle. This is from uh, a doodle learner piece. And I included her. Yes. All right. This is a pretty girl. I forgot that I had just probably put this in my shop. Mm -hmm. Oh my my. Oh my mind is just in a flurry. can't something like that. There is absolutely no reason why we can't stitch it to that. Yep. No reason whatsoever. Ah! It was in third drawer down. Had no idea. Give this a tie up, and uh, the next time you see me, I shall have uh, a piece of this cut. Uh, I will you fill up the whole space, but it will only be this one is only let's see how wide this plate is on here. My hand falls to the longest, the longest ruler. All right, world, where are we? This is four by six. So I'll do a four by six uh, rectangle, and I won't, I won't um, uh, use a pencil for that. I use uh, a bread. That's what I've always done. I'll use red uh, thread 
to baste the line for the uh, four by six. I might want it a little bit bigger, uh, maybe for, you know, I might go a little bit bigger. Not much, not much. Uh, this, I did had to do four by six because of the size of this loose leaf. And this loose leaf was on sale in the, in the, uh, in the bins in uh, Hobby Lobby. I remember that like it was yesterday. I think it was two dollars. And I realized it was good for, uh, I could get around this because I, I have to have that covered. Alrighty. There is no reason why you can't stitch lace to this and outline the edges if you, if you wish, if you enjoy stitching. Uh, and then you can cut around it, leave a piece of the needlepoint canvas showing around it. You can use, um, you can use this on the edges, if you wish. I'm not going to use this to do the, um, to do the stamping, if we stamp, even if it's one little, one little tiny stamp, I'm going to use stays on. Uh, that's just Carol being overprotective. So, the potential uh, here, we can work also on, uh, on small items. Like that. Well, it can be ongoing fun. And this has become my... This has become my... My happy find. My head is going, and I'm sure, I'm hoping that some of you who enjoy uh, slow stitching will be um, will be joining me. And uh, I hope you're wishing us luck because this is going to be a um, a seat of the pants situation. But there's nothing more fun than uh, trying things, trying new things. And uh, sometimes they work, sometimes they're gorgeous. Sometimes they're flat ugly. I mean, they just aren't good. Uh, the way the uh, my stitches in the... Uh, the way my stitches looked. Oh, it's gone forever. It's finished. It's 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 headed for the hills. I'm looking for where I put the. Uh, oh, I must have put it someplace. Oh, so around the room. Yes, of course. Over on another table. So. From this to this for inspiration, to this and this as my uh, my walker or my wheelchair, however you want to look at it. Um, these uh, you can always go into uh, uh, places that sell uh, some painting supplies and find and uh, uh, find these and put them together. There's no prop; they're not hard to do. If you decide you want to do it on a frame, no problemo. Uh, and if you decide you want to work like I'm going to work because of my situation, uh, I would just go on Amazon and look up uh, uh, needlepoint frames. Uh, I'm sure they now have uh, new ones and uh, uh, ones that weigh less than 5,000 pounds. So I do hope you have enjoyed my share today and my disappointment, but we're, I'm... Uh, my uh, mind is kind of going like uh, a small animal in a maze. Uh, information about all of this is in uh, my email address is in is below the video, and uh, uh, 
I believe in gifting. So uh, feel free. If you have enjoyed today's visit, please give me a thumbs up, leave a comment, and I would appreciate your subscribing to my channel. Bye now.